Hello and a warm welcome. You're with World Business Report. I'm Sally Bundock. Here are the headlines. $11 billion is at stake for Greece today. It has to persuade international creditors it deserves another chunk of bailout cash. Austerity on the agenda for President Obama too, as he presents his deficit-cutting plan. I'm Rico Hizon in Singapore, and new home data in China reveals prices continue to rise around the country despite higher interest rates and stricter property policies. Good to have you with us. Well, today is a crucial day for Greece. It has to persuade its most important lenders to hand over the next slice of bailout funds or the country will run out of money. The Greek finance minister will hold a conference call with inspectors from the International Monetary Fund and the European Union. At stake, $11 billion needed to keep the Greek state going. Greece has to satisfy the IMF and EU as no one else will lend it any money. But it's thought that those lenders want Greece to speed up austerity measures and even go beyond the original plan. A Greek newspaper report over the weekend said that lenders want 100,000 jobs in the public sector to be cut by 2015. That would be 20,000 more than the previous demand. Martina Steves is the London correspondent for the Greek newspaper Eleftheria Tipia. I asked her if the Greek Prime Minister can push through these deeper cuts. To be honest with you, I think it's becoming really unclear how he delivers. So far, we've had a menu of options, of policy options, both on cutting expenditure and on raising revenue. Um, the government has, uh, has proven to not be very good at raising revenue. So all this tax evading that we've been talking about over the last year and a half, they've not been very good at fixing that. So essentially, they've been taxing the same people more and more. Um, on, the, on the expenditure side, they've not the, delivered on the cuts that they, uh, they've been asked to. So the Troika now, um, EU, ECB, European Central Bank and International Monetary Fund, are saying, listen, we have um, stakeholders and electorates to, uh, to, to convince that this is a good idea. You have to stick to your targets. When you say they're taxing the same people over and over again, is that the ordinary man and woman in the street in Greece? That's exactly and right. And obviously the protests are going on. And this property tax, which is fairly new, it has got to be pushed through. I mean, how does right. that work? So um, essentially, yes, it is the, the kind of uh, the middle class, so to speak, from the lower lower um, uh, levels of the middle classes to the higher level of the middle classes. Um, with regards to the property tax, which was announced uh, 10 days ago, um, Finance Minister Venizelos in a press conference yesterday um, actually cast doubt over how this measure would be implemented. He said that he's partners who he saw in Poland um, during the ECOFIN, the, the meeting with the uh, European finance ministers, told him that it might be a good idea, but they weren't convinced essentially how much money this could raise because of this taxing fatigue essentially. Um, so that's another pressure on him to come up with new ideas. Martina Steves there.